That's what I thought. Okay. Now, I know that Dallas is on the way to Lucian's tomb. Is that the civilian ledger? It is. It is. <laughs> Two of them in the same bookcase. What are they doing? Creepy. Alright, what do we got here? Mind maggot grenade recipe. Already got that. My memoirs. Is that what this is? Nope, it's this one. <laughs> we made balloons from intestines. Yay. They must have left some evidence. Yay. We will uh, grab that and send it to the Lady Vengeance. How much does that weigh? 0.02? Yeah, we'll stick it in there. Portrait of a man. He look like a man. He really looks like a man. Um, necklace, we can sell that. Skull and medium thunder room. Give me that. Uh, medium masterwork rune. Interesting. I wonder why. I mean, it's I'm so late in the game. I wonder why they're not actually the big ones. You know what I mean? Okay, so don't touch anything. It's seriously killing me, man. So as you can see, this is why when we lit lit the room on fire, it just everything exploded. Because yeah, there's oil barrels everywhere. Apparently, that was their plan was to destroy all of the room. But why? Okay, let's talk to the Magisters. Saving it. We've uh, looted everything. Let's talk to these guys. The spirit of a Magister stares at you with undisguised venom. Oh, hush. Your time is over, God Woken. Yeah, that's not overreacted, overacted at all. All right, here's Raymond, though. The Magisters work to lay a hand on the dwarves, but why? Make the ultimate sacrifice. The whites were pulling a lot of strings. Their courage was something you'll never understand, murderer. I wonder why he's not talking. I'm going to stop Dallas. She'll be dead or in chains soon enough. Where is Dallas? Yeah, drop the bluster. She'll be dead. Raymond's spirit smiles. There it goes. The fanatical gleam in his eyes makes him look almost alive once more. The world is rotten and it started with the gods. I mean, he's not wrong. We'll all be better off without them. Also true. You should stand aside and let it happen. But you won't, will you? Do you even know what you do with these powers that you chase? The Magisters work to lay a hand on the dwarves. Yes, the power that goes with it. That it made our actions so necessary. Rivalon needs to be saved from your ilk. Farewell, Godwoken. Enjoy the prestige of being amongst the last of your kind. Oh my, he disappeared? Interesting. All right. The spirit of a white magister tips a vial of powder into a goblet of wine before her. She's... All right, let's talk to Lord Kim. If, uh... I better have something sensible to say. Yes. Here? Now? This is hardly the time or the place. She went to the cathedral. She's after Lucia's tomb. Mm. Is that so? Perhaps she thought to convince the Keeper, Lord Ahu, to allow her entry. A foolish plan for more reasons than I can list. I wonder... Well, anyway, it looks like I will need to deal with the witch myself. It's been a long time coming. But please, take this as a token of the Paladin's gratitude. You were invaluable once again. Now leave us to do our work. Okay. Be quick. I've other matters at hand. Hmm. And out with it. Okay, so My we have no time more on is that one. precious. Be mindful how you waste it. Be mindful. Enjoy the city, won't you? Ooh. To finesse, meh, meh. Oh, that's garbage. Garbaggio. Garbaggio. Um. All of those suck. That one sells for 40... What is that? Four? Okay, that one sells for the most. What are these? Two wits. One telekinesis. Um, hmm. Two crit chance. So I'd lose Looks two like wits. like Sanders. There's more talents than just toy making. I'd lose thievery as well. But I'd gain 230 physical armor. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that. 
don't know how I feel about that. All right, all the bodies are empty. All of this is empty. We've searched all the book. Oh, oh, oh. We missed one. Oh, we missed another. Oh, God. What have I done? What have I done? Oh, God. So, so much loot not looted. May the gods help me. Search this place with a fine tooth comb. Indeed. Indeed. Man, if they don't find all this stuff, I don't know. They're 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 dumb. They are dumb. Really? You're going all the way up to the top? Of course you are. And he's gonna slow walk, isn't he? Slow walk. He's not even. They must have left some evidence. Grr. Why else try to burn it? That is indeed it. Uh, no, 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 no. Look, if you're not gonna do it, I'm just gonna teleport. Keep looking. There we go. Take this place apart brick by brick if you must. Brick by brick. Well, I mean, okay. So, we have gotten everything out of here. And we have finished this portion. Okay, so we did that. Excellent. All right, now let's go back to Arcs. All right, City Square. Dallas. And let's get this guy. The going. man stares unblinkingly at his canvas, lost deep in his thoughts. Hmm. Hmm. Painting of a man. Okay, uh, let's get this going so we can identify. Yes. Okay, that sucks. What do we got here? Two intellect, scoundrel, two hydrosophist, and one lore master. Ooh, but it has no. No thingy. That sucks. That sucks. Two-handed mace. I'll take that. What do we got? Dude, if it had like 20% to crit, I might will the two-hander. Maybe. It might happen. It actually might happen. Oh, hello, medium master work rune of power. Oh, it gets two strength and maximum physical armor as well. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so... Hmm. What do we got, Beast? Okay, he's got a lot of money, so... I'm gonna sell him a bunch of stuff. All of it, in fact. Yes, I'm gonna sell him as much as he can handle. Uh... Do we want to keep the... Okay, okay. I messed up here. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, the gear for Beast. He needs a belt. Yeah, here we go. Equip and equip. There we go. All right, now let's talk. A young man works at a canvas mounted Boom. on an easel. Smears of what must be uh, red we'll paint are evident wares. on his hands and clothing. He is oblivious in a daze as he paints. That's nice. Painting of a mind. What are we at? 25k? Nice. Yep. Diamonds. Diamonds. So, apparently, all of the good stuff. Alright, we're gonna bling. Are you sure you want to? No, 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 no. There we go. Ah, ah, ah. Much, much better. Much better. Uh, let's get out of here. I sold my good items. I sold my good items. The spirit items. of an older man. That poor. Did you tell him? I sold my good items. I can't the red splattered that. young man paces the square once How again in a state of reverie. See where is it? There it is. 8k and where's my belt? 4k. So it's like half the money. All right, fine. That makes me sad. Sad panda. I'm a sad panda. All right, let's go and. All right, there we go. Um, okay, so we can't sell the noble hat because apparently it's a freaking quest item. Because it's a freaking quest item. Hmm. I can't believe I did that. Oh my goodness.
I hate when I do stuff like that. All right, now, let's see. Sheets of paper. We're just going to send these to the Lady Vengeance. We'll send those as well, because they weigh a lot. Give him that. Dubious flyer. Journal with a note. That'll go there. And I th think we're good. Yes. And eventually I'll steal stuff from all these guys, but I think we're going to wait until maybe we get a little bit more. A little bit more thievery under our belt, shall we? Bodies in the streets. We should try. You got anything new? I serve all who seek aid, sir. You got anything new? Three intelligence, six initiative. That's that's a badass two-hander right there. Bad ass. Um, come on, crit chance. Where is the crit chance? I don't see any. You need to hush over there. One summoning. Oh, come on. Hmm. Two constitution. What do we got here? Thievery. Yep, yep. No summoning. All I want is summoning. It's because it makes him do so much more damage when he's got the bonus summoning, doesn't it? Alright. Let's, uh, we talk to him. Now, who else do we need to talk to? We need to talk to Magister Barracks. Wait, wait. Ah, yeah, that's the Magister Barracks. Okay. Uh, what is this? This is the dwarf who's having the wedding today's estate. Let's let Beast do the talking. The Royal Guard's eyes widen as you approach, Beast in tow. His calloused fingers reach towards the wolf insignia adorning his uniform. Uh, okay. Marcus. Marcus Miles. Yes. Beast remains silent, though his clenched jaw reveals his, his resentment. He moves his hand towards his weapon. That's his name. <laughs> Calm yourself, Marcus. You don't know me, but I know you. The rebellion lives. Oh! You're lucky to have found an ally here. You won't find many in this house, and certainly not among the Queen's regiment. That Isbell hasn't found me out is a minor miracle. So the winds would blow me off course, then? Good to know, my friend. The guard leans closer to Beast, his voice tight. His name is Marcus. The rebellion is in danger. You are in danger. Do not reveal yourself here, Marcus. The guards won't know you unless you announce yourself. Your rebels brave the hinterlands. They brave the wave dancer, and now they brave a poisoned court. They need you alive. Word. He nods to the door, then takes the rigid stance of a proper royal guardsman. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's a shop. Very nice. Got a trader? What do we got here? Trader glass. Should uh, should do a stop take. Uh, maybe tidy the Ooh. shelves. Oh, oh, I didn't see you there. Sorry, it's been um quite a day. You need a hand with anything? Let me know. Roger that. And why is it purple? Look at that! Epic spoons. Can you even imagine epic spoons? That's crazy. Crazy, I say. Crazy. Okay. Um, hmm, I have an invitation to the wedding. The wedding? Oh, Duna, haven't you heard? Uh, I'm so sorry. There's There's been a tragedy. You can head into the garden to see for yourself. If no. you have the stomach for it. What happened? Not sure how much longer I'll be here, but... If you have a need of supplies, let me know. Well, Lohar sent me to talk to Mikhail Russ. He rubs his jaw in thought and gives you a long look. Lohar, eh? The boss has been getting messages from dwarves all over. But that is an interesting one. Indeed. Indeed it is. He's not exactly everyone's favourite dwarf. Who is everyone's favourite uh, dwarf? Talk to the guard at the door. I really shouldn't say any more. Gotcha. Gotcha. Seems heavily guarded. You have problems with thieves? No. The boss's daughter was tying the knot. Guards were to make sure it was invite only. Not that... Not that it made any difference. There's no way we could have known. But even in these times, one doesn't expect a void woken to appear at a wedding. Hmm. Ornate dwarven axe. That's great. 
Uh, so I guess it's all just ornate rich stuff? Yeah, it's really cool. I'll tell you something, though. We'd no problem with those filthy beasties till all these guards showed up. Hmm. What do you know about the Void Woken attack? Oh, don't know much. Everyone was out in the garden for the wedding. I was watching the shop and then... Guards were everywhere, but those beasties just... Cut through them. Like butter. Like butter. Like butter. Boss said to keep the doors open, but... But truth be told, I feel ill just standing here. By Duna, closing can't come fast enough. Fair enough. All right. Uh, I'm surprised you weren't close for the You wedding. and me both. Worked for Ross for a decade. I half expected an invitation of my own. But even with half of Ark's lying dead in his garden, he still wants the shop open. Then again, if I'd been at the wedding... Whew, the fact that the boss loves counting his pennies is probably the only reason I'm breathing. I mean... Who knew greed could actually be a good thing, That said, right? it doesn't feel right to be orking wares with that next door. Job's the job, though. Can I do leave arcs with naught but empty pockets? Fair enough. All right, well, good to see you, buddy. But before you go, I should tell you... Yes? The boss has certain exclusive wares for a few choice Ooh. customers. You seem like the type to appreciate such things. Ooh. Thought you'd be interested. It never hurts to take our mind off these terrible times. Uh, yeah, let's, let's check that out. You'll find we have some interesting specials today. Specials, eh? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, summoning. Yes. Give me some of that. Uh, 2.30? With the sun. God, dude. It's just, it's literally just armor. That's all I'm Nothing trading for. Nothing sacred armor. anymore. Or safe. Huntsman, Geomancer, Huntsman, Aerotherge. More summoning... Uh, so, okay. Bartering. Okay. I'm listening. I'm listening. Two initiative, 3% dodge. That's a lot of HP. I'll give you that one. I was hired to go. Uh, Nobody yeah. said anything about fighting monsters. Uh, fighting monsters? Well, you know. It happens. It happens. Is my bartering three? Okay, yeah, I'm not really too overly concerned about it. Um... You know, I should probably use those as beast. Yeah. Bloody void I'll lose a little bit of magic really? armor, but I'll gain some physical armor. If that ain't armor. a bad omen, nothing uh, is. That gives bartering. That does not. That does not. And that does not. Okay. Yeah, there we go. First wedding, I so. 9k, I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright. <laughs> not bad, eh? I'll take, take care of yourself. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. All right, uh, beast, beast. All right, what are we looking at? I mean, he's he's actually low on the on the armor of magic. So, funnily enough, putting those on. Ah, uh, you know what? I guess we'll just keep it on Fane. I was in the garden. I guess uh, we don't actually need it for Fane. You know what I mean? So, all right, let's keep it on beast. That's what we'll do. So we'll do. We'll keep it on beast. <sighs> I can't imagine why he wouldn't want to. Eat. I mean, like I have noble now, so say go out in the courtyard. I'll be drawing breath now. Can I get in here? No, I can't. Can't reach. Hmm. Dead voidling. Okay. I can't go in here, squire. Royal Protector. Who is that? Isla Gaul. Who is this? Auntie Flan. Squire. Is that him? Doran Gaul. Hmm. So, I can't get back there? There's a lot of... Ooh, hello. Hello, back entrance. Ah, yeah, that's why I can get back. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Nothing so... Nothing sacred anymore. Or safe. <laughs> I mean, I could stand right next to her and open it. It'd be hilarious. I could totally do that. Ugh, I might do that later. I might do that later. Lady Augusta. What are you doing, girl? A well-dressed dwarf woman lies on the cobbles, giggling drunkenly to herself. What happened, girl? I wish I was bloody. Homeless. 
then I'd be home already. <laughs> no, I was at a wedding. Burgers kicked me out. Said I was causing a scene. Yeah, well, it's a good point. Good, good, good thing you did because uh, you would be dead. Ha! Void walking. Good one. <laughs> You're a regular. And what about Jet? the wedding? <laughs> the usual first. The groom's a local alchemist, marrying the daughter of some big shot merchant. Can you help me get in? Invitation only, I'm afraid. Then how did you get in? They'd hardly kick out their own flesh and blood, would they? I barely know any of them. Friends of friends of business acquaintances. Can I have your invitation? Eh? No. <laughs> Why would I do that? Uh, he has no persuasion. Um, I think I already have an invitation from... Ooh, nice. First wedding I've missed in... I think I already have an invitation. Let's, let's see. What is this? For the safety of Rivalon, report all sorcerers yeah, to the nearest yeah, yeah, magister. Yeah, yeah. Pretty sure I have, uh, I can get in. Here, let's see. The gate guard stands to attention with the professionalism her royal uniform would demand. But when she speaks, her voice quivers. Something has left her badly shaken. Move along. Nothing to see here. Mm, I came here about the void walking attack. You really don't, you know. Anyway. Boo. The gate's to be kept clear. Move along. Nothing to see here. I have an invitation. You're late. But if you still want to deliver a gift to the... Ahem, happy couple. That was a bit See forced. the guard by the door in the general store? The gate's to be kept clear. Move along, nothing to I see need to here. Speak with them. Lower sent me. She gives you a long look. Then. This gate is closed. See the guard by the door in the general store. Understand? You need to see the guard in the general store. Okay. But I want in this way. What's this way? What is this? Can I get in this way? I can. Hmm. Oh. Oh, it's not red. Look at that. Now what do we got here? Eh, just some, just some stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Fireball scrolls. Gotta love that. Dead wedding guest? Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Um, is there no one in here? Huh. Royal protector. Why won't they let me in? That's what I want to know. Alright, well, let's go talk to them, and then I guess... I guess we can go back and deal with the death fog next. He, t he talked to Beast. He didn't talk to me, so... I welcome you, comers and natives alike. We shall pray. Come on, we come on. Pray. Here we go. There it is. Okay. Enter the shop at your leisure. Nature. Enter the shop at your leisure. Yeah. What about you? The store's open. Okay. Maybe we need to talk to this one. The royal protector sighs at Beast, but barely looks up from the floorboards as she addresses him. Aha. If you're here for the wedding, there's been... There was... <clears throat> it's over now. So be on your way. Mm, don't think so. Beast gives you an inquisitive look. Okay, sure, go ahead. Cut short, was it? Well, then you won't mind if I head in. Royal business wouldn't concern you. Look, there's been a tragedy. Bride's completely broken about it, poor thing. So like I said, be on your way. Beast begins rifling through his pack, then produces the wedding invitation acquired in Driftwood and hands it to her. I'd say this here's what you need, eh? She takes the invitation from him and reads it closely, then looks up at Beast for the first time. A spark of recognition lights up her eyes, but is gone in a flash. Boom. Figured I knew ya. One of Lohar's, eh? You're late. But I guess that's a good thing. Excellent. I'll unlock the door for you. Good job, beast. Good gerb. Good gerb, indeed. Okay, um... 
Let's see. I'm going to go stand in the corner over here so that I can do this. And I don't freak everybody out. That would be true breath now if I was in the garden. Right? Anybody going to talk to me? No? Nobody? Hello? Hello? Auntie Flan. Auntie Flan! The woman cries on. Okay, I guess not. Uh, what about... Nothing You're the bride, right? He's like all. God, I am so sorry. How could I have known? She looks up at you with glassy eyes, wiping her tear-streaked face on one brocade sleeve. Poor thing. A girl's wedding should be the happiest day of her life. I've heard of your tragedy. I don't know how this could happen. Who would have seen it coming? Raise his hand. She looks down at her feet. Seeing her blood-spattered wedding slippers, oh, so her sad. face crumples and tears spring from her eyes. So sad. Oh, so sad. I should be so happy. Everybody should be so happy. But before we could even cut our wedding cake, there were void woken everywhere. We barely made it indoors alive. But not everyone was so lucky. I... I can hardly bear to think of them. Hmm. Their wives and husbands and children back in the kingdom. Left to grieve alone. Void can only appear when sources you. What are you insinuating? We're merchants, not mystics. You should have seen those void monsters. All that blood, all that death. They didn't deserve... She doesn't know. We didn't. She doesn't know. She buries her head in her hands, sobbing uncontrollably. Okay, I'm out. Um, Doran Gall, here we go. The dwarf stares grimly into space. Rings adorn his fingers, some of which glitter with ornate rose-tinted jewels. Look at that. Jewels. Nice. You notice one has a gem missing. If you'll excuse me, I'd just as soon be left with my thoughts. I heard you have trouble with the Void Woken. I bet you heard. I bet everyone is talking about this cursed wedding. Perhaps my war horse of an aunt is right. Perhaps this is what I get for debasing myself. I'm sorry, what? Still, what's done is done. The marriage is final. That's the important thing. Uh, the, uh, okay, you don't seem too distraught over the bloodbath. People die all the time. Weddings aren't exempt. Not even my own. Unfortunately, sometimes people survive beyond their usefulness. Is he talking about his wife? He's talking about his wife. Ooh, he's got a lot of gold. Well, congratulations on your marriage, despite the circumstances. Yes, it's been a horrendous day. Still, it's a fine match. With her assets and my name, I, that is to say, we, will be a force to be reckoned with. He glances over at his distraught bride as she takes another sip from her goblet. Events like today's do have a way of putting things in perspective. There's much to be gained from this alliance. It survived the Void Woken, after all. Out with the old, in with the new, I suppose. Yet, <laughs> old man Ross left the incident quite unharmed. Doesn't seem all that madly in love. Love? Tuna's beard. Is yeah. that what passes for sense among the lower classes? Right. Well, she is quite enamored with me, of course. I can be, well, irresistible. I mean, I understand. I totally get it. But no. In my family, marriage is a more practical matter. Our union means I can continue my work. Hmm. Okay. Um, what work would that be? Yeah, I appreciate you're making it. Because, see, that's the thing, dude. That's the thing. It's like, you can be practical about marriage and have love come out of it. It's not as cut and dry as you seem. And to marry just for love can be stupid. Can be. Doesn't mean it is. I appreciate your candor, but please have a little discretion. I would hate for my new family to get the right idea. I see. <sighs> not that it matters now, mind you. We are wed till death do us part. It almost makes me think he summoned vo the Void Woken to kill her or something. Uh, it will be a long, long life. <laughs> the groom looks you over with a sneer and mutters, Hmm. No, 
I don't think you'll be of much use. I see. He turns back to the window with a grunt, anxiously twisting the rings on his fingers. I see. Okay, so what happens if we get Beast to talk to him? Or maybe let's do... That's Sahaya. Look at that. The dwarf to to rubs his temples. His rings... What? All right. Yep, People die again. all the time. Okay, so... Is it, is he the dwarf the stares grimly and... If you'll excuse me, I'd just as soon be left with my... Yep, I bet troubles. you perhaps my war horse still. What's done is done. Gradually yes, it's... He glances... Over. Events like today. There's much to okay. be... Yet. And observe you don't love, seem badly in but love. No. In my family, what marriage work might that is a be? more practical... A job? Well, please don't be churlish. I'm no dairy maid desperate for her next meal. I follow my passion. That's a good one. Alchemy. Potions which, at a sip, can heal or kill, can grant strength, speed, or compliance, which have the power to transform base metal into gold. He glances across the room, where his betrothed is pouring herself another goblet of wine. Yes, indeed. Our union will definitely be of value, even with today's rather dark start. Hmm. Eh. If you want to play with people live, that's on you. You make it sound like she's a victim, rather than someone who just married into one of the oldest houses in the kingdom. Fair enough. We trace our lineage back to the time of Tenax himself. She could not ask to bear children from a more noble lineage. If Interesting anything, way to look at I'm it. doing her a service. Aha. Uh -huh. People die all the time. The groom uh -huh. looks you over with... Hmm. He turns back to... Okay, so we're not going to be useful to him, eh? Hmm. Interesting, interesting. So, can we get into the courtyard from here? Void woken here, and who'll clean up that mess in the garden? In the garden, in the garden, in the garden. Okay. Um, can we even go upstairs? Oh, we can. Oh, oh, oh. oh is there just a pile of gold laying around? Please tell me there's a pile of gold laying around. Please tell me there's a pile of gold. Nope, but there's lots of guards. Purple pouch. Hmm. Is that a... F okay, I was like, is that a hot tub? What the, What is that? Portrait of a Lilabel? Why is it a pig with a crown on? Um, I'm going to open this. Three gold. Okay. Okay. No one should run in here, eh? Michael Ross, this is the guy I want to talk to. A well-dressed dwarf paces around the room, overseeing the packing of trunks. No he doesn't look up as he addresses you. Yes, thank you for coming. Indeed, it would have been a beautiful ceremony, if only... The dwarf trails off as he takes in the sight of Beast. His face goes from soft to stern, and your dwarven companion looks to you for guidance. This is his time to shine. Marcus Miles, you should get out of here. Marcus Go Miles. back to the high seas and sing your shanties and do whatever else your band of brigadiers does. We'll all be better off. Come now, Ross. Is that any way to talk to a distinguished member of the royal family? That's great. Heh, you're no royal, not anymore. A beast you were and a beast you remain. There's only one reason you'd come to Arx. You're looking for Justinia. Heed my advice and leave this place before you do something stupid. Look, I can't change the past, and I'm sure as hell not going to apologize for it. But Justinia's in trouble. Big time. And if anyone can talk some sense into her, it's me. He peers into Beast's eyes, looking for a sign of honest intent, and, satisfied, his face softens. Nice. When the crackdowns and decrees came, I defended her. But when she exiled you, I joined in the applause. But this new plan of hers, I want to believe I do, but death fog? Something's not right, Marcus. She's tuned me out. Well, she's tuned everyone out. Everyone but that advisor of hers, that is bail. Mm -hmm. Her quacking all but drowns us out. Pushing silver down her ear, eh? She's holding court in the sewers, if you can believe it. Go to my wine cellar. Pull out the vintage called Lula Bell. It will open the way for you. I don't know what Justinia's endgame is, Marcus. But I don't want to be anywhere near when it begins. I see. I see. 
So we did it. Hmm. Well, I know where it is. So Hmm. So what do we do? Do we go do we go and what in the world? Really? You've come to serve, yes? Excellent. Bring me my slippers. Chop, chop. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here. I'm not, I'm not even participating in that. Huh. So, do we go into his basement? Do we... Not a what we do? If that ain't a bad it's, uh, it's nice. over here, right? Yeah, it's over here. So, now here's the thing. In his basement, ooh, the portrait of a man, Cole. We'll, still, we'll take that, thank you. Thank you very much. Nails, nails, I don't need any of this. Ooh, glass, there you, there you go. Mm -hmm, empty potion bottle, take that. Nope, don't want that. Uh, that's an empty backpack. Oh, no. Nope. Okay, um... Ooh, another man. Alright, the, um... What I'm curious about is whether we should do it this way or go the way where we found... Because I, I saw the giant, the barrels of death fog. I saw them all. It was crazy. I didn't realize how many were in there. It was insane. Okay, so... Hmm. Bottle of wine. Uh, yeah, let's steal that. And the gold cup. That's mine. Uh, no, we don't want the loot. We don't want the loot. Um, hmm, another gold cup. I'll take that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, let's get out of here. And we'll grab that. It looks like... For a second there, I thought that looked like Picard from Star Trek. I was like, what is that doing here? Okay. Save it, and we're going to check this out, yeah? So, hmm. Hmm. Oh, 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 you know what we didn't do? We didn't go out to the courtyard. Let's try that out first. Let's go do that. Let's go do the courtyard. Yes, yes, and then we'll, then we'll go down there. So, where do we get out there? Is it here? Yes. And let's So much death on such a lovely day. You recognize the trumpet. This is the Queen of Pearls, playing a fanfare for her lover, Duna, the god of all dwarves. Okay. Wits check. Success! The stone smells of granite and rose water, but beneath the aroma, a familiar smell lingers. Death fog. And then you see it. The horn of the trumpet connects to a pipe. The pipe disappears into the dirt. Are you for real? The scent of death fog comes from under the ground. Whoa, that's crazy. That is crazy. Okay, mug of beer. We got stardust herb. Dead Voidling. I mean, I'll definitely take some of this stuff, yeah? Chuck that on the ground. Throw it on the ground! Come here. It's just Voidlings, huh? So no really badass ones? Okay. Who is that? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see here. That's the door we almost entered. Aha! There's the big Void Woken. Who are you? The spirit of a dwarven lady stands eagerly by, as if she's waiting to catch a bouquet. Um... The wedding's over, lady. The spirit shoos you away absently, her gaze fixed intently on the arc that the bouquet is taking through the air. Okay, well, I guess we'll just leave you to Come it. Come on, throw it! Yep, she's this done. This bouquet's mine! She's done, though. 
Get in my way and you'll get an elbow in the eye. An elbow in the eye, huh? Hmm. Okay, what do we got here? Anything Holy Book of Matrimony? What do we got? Well, I guess we can read it. Seems to be a template of wedding vows, so much in love, quite a few, read like legal contracts. You find one, two whole paragraphs about inheritance rights, circled in red ink. I see. Mm. Okay, Amethyst Deceiver. I found something. Oh, what is this? Get in my way and get an elbow in the eye. The musty aroma of knowledge. Who is this? Cranley Hubert. Oh, that's the guy who writes all the books. Nice. Oh, a thousand gold. Whoa. Right on, bro. Right on. Okay, we got that. I guess we just loot the loot this. Glass of wine. No, 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 no. Are any of these people got names? No, I'm just spirits. Throw the the spirit the of a dwarf god patrols the gun. Oblivious to the fact that he's dead. Well, of course he's oblivious to the fact that he's dead. What is this? Sewer key? Uh, yeah, I'm taking that. And what is this? The court has convened. The sewers are hardly an ideal location, but there's more than enough space to conduct my research. Jay remains blissfully ignorant, convinced that our plan is actually hers. She may not be weak of body, but she's certainly weak of mind. You can reach through the cellars using the key I gave you. Remember, when selecting a wine, choose the one that shares the, pig, the name of the pig. It pairs well with success, I hear. Ah, so if we didn't have Beast in our group, then we could we could do that, eh? Death Fog Rising. So, this is what I'm wondering, right? This is what I'm wondering. What exactly... Which one should we do? Hmm? Should we go back to the sewers the way we were? And... Come on, throw it. Get rid of the Death Fog that way? I mean, it mine. might work. It might work. Uh, we'll throw that one in there. The Sewer key. We'll keep that. Bling, 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 bling. Um, yeah, there we go. We need to make sure we do that from now on instead of uh, doing it the other way. Because that's how I ended up. That's how you end up selling the gear you want. Okay. Well, I, since we're here, we might as well just go downstairs. Might as well just go downstairs and open it up this way and talk to Justinia. And hope that works. Uh, which one is it? It's Lullaby Honey Wine. There it is. Oops. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That's cool. I gotta admit, I like that. Instead of just opening a door, that was pretty that was pretty awesome. Get that one and that. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Is this the one we've already been to? It is. This was this was the hmm. Lots of spikes. Yep. Yep, this is where we were. That's where we killed those bros. Sweet. So it's basically the same thing. All right, let's uh we got here. Let's turn on spirit vision. What is this? Torch. Give me all that loot. All of it, boys. It's mine. More loot. More loot. Alright, we still got spirit vision. What does this do? Aha! Very nice. Very nice. Yes. Yes. I don't see any other people on the map, so... <laughs> That's great. That's just great. Um, hmm. We did come that way, so I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter which direction we come from. Uh, is he gonna kill me? Yep. I've spotted a trap. Not particularly. Locked. Yeah, pick it. Pick it. We got male boots. Boo. Boo. Stop it, beast. Just seriously. 
Could you, could you not, please? Could you not? Uh, okay, let's just. Ow. Ow. Okay, there we go. All right. Boxes of death fog everywhere. Let's see what this rat has to say, yeah? This looks so, like the cargo of the Peacemaker. It does. Well, look at you. Another Jumbasaur here to join the circus, hmm? Circus? Eight-legged mummies, crate dwarves, lousy children. What else would you call it? Eight-legged mummies? Spiders as big as your head. No, bigger. And they'll grow a baby inside you if you're not very, very, very careful. Crate dwarves? What's to tell? A noisy gang of dwarves dragged an excessively large gang of crates in, and neither one ever left. Rude. And the lousy children? Sneaky, oily, lousy kids dipping and out of here all the time. I ought to set out traps, see what I catch. <laughs> That's great. I like barrels. Do you now? Do you like barrels? I, I didn't know. Lucky find. Okay, so... I've spotted something. That's a secret door. All right, we found a secret door. Well, let's, let's, let's look around before we open that door. So I have a feeling that, uh, so a bit of, uh, essentially what happened is, is that it's a way to get down here and to find the dwarves out without actually uh, doing beast quests, which is cool, in my opinion. Um, I have no idea what's over there, or over there, for that matter. Okay, well, let's see what's in the, um, ooh, hello, chest. Arrow. What we got here? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we'll grab that. Um, any more? Nope, too heavy. Why is the death fog too heavy? Yeah, you see the vents? They're gonna... They're going to release it in this room? No, 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 no. Oh, god dang it. It's a void. It's a fish. I didn't realize. Throw it on the ground. Um. Hmm. Okay, now here's the question. Is this where the cord is? Here's the question. Yes. That... Oh, these are kids. It's a catastrophe. <laughs> what a dad joke. What a dad joke. Okay, we're going in here. A city and its people can be measured by the number of children in its sewer. What you doing? Howdy. A little girl looks you square in the face. She doesn't smile. She doesn't frown. And she sure as hell doesn't look shy. Uh, just, what are you doing down here? Olivia, silly. You don't. I need to think about this. She thinks about this. Okay. Hmm. Now that you're here, can't very well leave. Suppose you told someone. Nah, that wouldn't do. Nah, you'll just have to die. <laughs> Get my troll to do it. Is that right? Yeah, that's what we'll do. The troll will fix it. And then you'll be dead. Uh, how about we... Ladder of rungs above her? Nah, let's not do that. Um, well, I mean, hmm. Think again, you don't want to hurt her or her troll. Ooh, Everybody yes, out! Troll dinner time! The kids vanish, and you hear the grumbling of a couple of trolls. Well, I was hoping not to have to kill the trolls. That is not a couple, that is three. Liar, liar, log. Oh man, I wanted to talk to the trolls. Come on, dude. Ugh. Okay, um. Why is Beast not in combat? I hate when they do this. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Just barely. Just barely. So. I think that means that I could do this. Quick save. Let's grab this guy. Invalid target. Maybe we nether swap. Invalid target. Invalid target. 
And target too far. Are they grounded? No. They're not grounded. Huh. Why is it invalid to teleport them? Grr. Arg. Um. Well, I kind of want them all to group up. That's not going to be possible if I can't see them. Right? Because, let's see, if we look at this bro. Like, Lightning Storm only has... Yeah, this is... I could just delay my turn, right? Could just delay the turn. We did save it, so... Let's see what happens when we delay turn. I want them to get a little bit closer. They don't cast spells, I'm pretty sure. Or they, if they do, they don't cast biggins. Okay. Here it goes. Fortify. That's fine. Come on over here, buddy. We got poison ball. And of course, he casts it on beasts. Of course, he does. Okay, so can I teleport you now? No, you're all invalid. How is that a thing? I've been able to do it before. See, it doesn't say any of that. That's silly. Okay, he's got air resistance. Let me guess, they all got different resistances, don't they? Poison, he's got... Ugh. Ugh. And what about you? Let me guess, you got air resistance, don't you? He's got negative fire resistance. Okay, well... Um, let's... Let's, let's, let's... Is there anything we can do with Beast that might be useful before we do anything with Fane? Um, oh, yes, we can haste... Fame, which would help. Um, yes, we could. We could also teleport. I wish I could swap him, nether swap him. That's what I wish we could do. It's the invalid target. Let's see, we can choose Fame. Does that work? No. No. There's not really much else, much other utility I'm going to be able to give. Um, Alright, well, we're going to haste Fane. And we're going to give him peace of mind. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. We're going to summon our elemental. Yeah, our garnet. Um, yeah. I really wish this guy had moved closer. And it sucks you can't teleport. Like now that they're here, I can't I can't actually teleport teleport now. Invalid target. I don't know why. I guess they're too heavy. I guess that's what that is. Um, I could put him to sleep. That'd be interesting. Alright, well we're just gonna we're just gonna summon our incarnate. And what is this guy? He is fire. Okay, cool. We'll uh, necro fire this bro. Get it boy! Alright, and then we'll give him power infusion. And I guess we'll go with warp. Warp infusion. Ah, 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 ah. There we go. Alright, now it's his turn. Um, hmm. We're not going to necro fire just yet. Uh, what's your resistances looking like? He's got 150 fire, so to heal him. Okay, so we need to... It's just regular attack. And there's the troll blood. So can we set him on fire? Get the troll blood? Yes. No. Hmm. An unusual painting. Oh, interesting. So, you know, I'm thinking maybe death fog is the answer. Maybe death fog is the answer. We can pick up one of those crates and chuck it out here. That might be the answer that we need. This troll blood nonsense. Because the last time we encountered a troll and we couldn't get rid of troll blood, we ended up having to uh, drop him in a lava. Because <laughs> it was ridiculous. He's got 10,000 HP, man. 10,000 HP. Oh, I can hit them all with it? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, so. Fame! My buddy. My pal. Apotheosis calls. Ascendance to godhood. 
boom. And then we time warp. Bingo, bango. Time warp. Okay. Um, hmm. What is your stuff? You are air. Okay, good. Um, and you are... What are you? You are... Poison. Okay, is there any other buff that I can give myself? I could buff... I already have haste. I could buff beast with haste. Um, I can make it rain, and I can save my point. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do this and save my one point. He's on fire, so I don't want to do that. We're gonna do the two beast dudes. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and I'm gonna save that one point right there. All right. Uh, in turn. Okay, so now, my friends, now we have. Lightning storm. Bam. And guess what? I get to go again. You know how cool that is? Yeah, that's cool. Boom. Oh. He's stunned. He's stunned. He's stunned. Ha. Huh. It enacted troll blood. Okay. Okay, well, they're stunned. That's what matters, right? That's what matters. Um, now, what else do I need to do? What is your... What is your... You have no fire resistance. So, we need to do as much damage to you as possible. Um, I am seriously considering just throwing this on your head. Seriously considering it. Uh, what about this? Uh, he's got air resistance, so it won't really hurt him. Um, we got four points now. I don't want to use my thing because uh, the thing about it is apotheosis will last one more turn, right? So I don't also I also don't want to waste my AP. So this guy has low poison resist. Yeah, is that the way that works? He's got 50 poison resist, negative air resist. This is the dude who's uh, got low poison resist. Yeah, that guy. Okay. We need to do damage to this guy. Blink. There we go. 2,000 damage, by the way. Um, because we activated that troll blood nonsense. Uh, let's go with lightning for you. Hopefully this works the way I think it will. Okay. Time warp's gone, but we still have apotheosis. Almost dead, almost dead. Now watch this. Skin graft. Go. This will reset all my cooldowns. Oh, no, I forgot. I should have used Adrenaline Rush first. Darn. Okay. Well, I, I forgot about that. All right, now, we're going to do the Lightning again. Boom. Ooh. He's dead. He's dead. And what about him? He's about half HP? Okay. What? You take fire damage, right? He's, he's fire. All right, we're going to Adrenaline Rush. I should have I should have saved Adrenaline Rush. I should have used Adrenaline Rush. That way I could Adrenaline Rush twice. Alright, now you, Targ, are... What do we need? You're poison. So we can do that again. And what are you? You are fire? 115. Okay. So we'll poison you again. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. And fire for you. Yeah, to the face. Uh, let me see here. So it's 208 a pop or 800. Let's see this. Let's see this. No, let's do fireball. Let's do fireball. If it wasn't such an oblique angle, maybe I might be able to kill him here. I might be able to do it. Okay. Um, poison dart. Ho! Almost. He's almost dead. Dang it, that means they're going to reach in. No! Urgh. If only I could teleport him. If only I could teleport him. Uh, do I want to hit him with a laser beam, or do I want to hit him with a fireball? Let's hit him with a fireball. Fireball! Ho! Boom! Ah, 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 ah. Got two points left. Let's go, let me see, 
can I can give let's see let's do this. Poison infusion. Sweet. And then we can make it rain. Can I make it rain? Beast! Make it rain! Okay, healing for 3k. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, but we're gonna do this. Pew! Yeah, there we go. You're done, son. The damage is real, boys. The damage is real. Boom! Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, um... You know what? We're gonna get right in his face. So that we can do this. Boom! Ah, 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 ah. Ah, uh, your trolls are nothing. Nothing. Ooh, uh, 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 uh. Yes, it is. It is. We will. We shall have it. Um, where's that coin purse at? Fat back. Nothing. Coin purse. A little bit of gold. Uh, is that a bed? It is. All right, we need our source back, so there we go. Grab that. Uh, Loke is empty. He's empty. Hmm. Wonder where all the kids went. Uh, we're going to grab that to him. All right. It's funny because it's probably going to say it's stolen. Yeah, it is. Even though it's really not. Even though it's really not. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. No, we can't walk. Bust of Alexander. Boo. All right, let's uh, pick a lock on that bad boy. All your loot is mine, I guess. All of it is mine. That's adorable. There's a teddy bear up there. Um, these are guys that these are the guys that probably set the what you call it, huh? All right, now let's see what the painting is. Nice. I didn't quick save it. Examine. It looks like it's the one from the very beginning of the of the game. Lucky How much boy. does it weigh? Five. The painting is the depiction of the seven shining from the heavens upon the divine Lucian and his followers. Okay. Is that it? I guess that's it. Oh, look at that. There's a chest out there. Not anymore. We got here. Ooh, it's finesse based. I can tell by just looking at it. I can tell by just looking at it. Alright, let's get Beast to grab the teddy bear. Is it one of those ones that goes, yep. That explodes? Yeah, it is. It is indeed. Oh, an exploding teddy bear. Metal scraps. Uh, okay, we'll just... No problem. You know, I'm really glad you don't have to get a fence. Ooh, lucky five. I'm really glad you don't have to get a fence to sell all your stuff in this one. Really makes it, really makes it much better. Uh, let's go ahead and put all this stuff in... Yep, in the wares. It sells for 200, but man, come on! It, it's it's an un, not only is it an unusual painting, but it's also um, is there anything down there? It's also like a special name. I wonder if it's the painting that everybody that talk, that, I, that the painter was talking about that his dad made. It's a portrait of a man. Hopi, what am I doing my break today? Um, hmm, I guess we'll be doing it about noon. Of course, I could do it right now. That might be a good idea. But uh, we've already went over just a tad, so... Ooh. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and take our break right now. That's actually a great idea. Thank you very much for reminding me. So, thank you so much for being here this morning, Hopi, Hyde, Mega Man Gaming. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for all your support. I very much appreciate it. We will be back. We will return here in just about an hour at uh, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. For more Divinity Original Sin 2 Lone Wolf gameplay, thank you for being here, thank you for watching, and if you're interested in seeing any of my streams and you want to catch any of the other streams that I've done, you can check out my YouTube channel, it's in the description down below, go and check it out for me. Alright, catch you later guys, see you in an hour.
peace.